Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. Today we'll be covering how to use Lattice inside Blender. So if you if you're just hearing it for the first time, you're in luck because you're in right in good hands. Um, but if you're familiar with it, don't worry. You should pick up something or two, something or two. So um, what we'll be looking at this tutorial will be focusing on three aspects. So the first aspect is we'll be trying to understand basically how the lattice work. Um, secondly, we'll be trying to animate it. I'll be showing different ways you can animate it. And finally, we'll be looking at using the lattice in a real situation with rigs and objects in a bit more complex situation. So um, before I continue, I would like to thank you guys so much for making this channel reach 3,000 subscribers. It's like an honor that 3,000 people think um, I can give them a nice content. I, I'm so honored by that. Um, I will try my best to keep put, putting out good content for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, finally, before I get into the tutorial, um, you can check the link. I recently created a course to support this channel. You can just check out the course. If it's something from you, for you, you can purchase it. If not, you can just continue enjoying the videos I put out. Okay, um, so let's get into Blender. We'll be using Susan as our as our test monkey. So I'll just place it at its origin and shade it to smooth. Um, so we need the lattice. So we'll go to this add panel here and select the lattice deformer. So we'll just scale it to fit um, Susan inside it. Okay, so once you're done, um, the next step is to just go to this lattice menu. Here you can see the resolution. So we'll be focusing on this resolution because most of the times the default settings work fine. Okay. Uh, some other things you will notice is that you can create vertex group for lattice. You can create a shape key, um, which is very essential when create and trying to animate or trying to create a non-destructive workflow when using your lattice system. So for the resolution, basically um, it, this UVW basically stands for xyz so if you don't understand the uvw you can un understand xyz um, yeah so increasing any of them we add more resolution to the lattice so let us add four to all, everything so once you're done you just select the object and shift select the lattice and press ctrl p so you select lattice deform so once you do that um, you can now deform your model just select this lasso, select. So now you can pull the vertex of the lattice and you can get um, nice deformation. Okay, so that's basically how to use the lattice. Nothing complicated. Um, so let's look about animating it. Let's just bring out our timeline and select timeline. Okay, so as I said, um, you could animate it by using shape key. So let's do that. So we'll hit this plus icon to initialize the base shape. Then we'll hit another plus icon. For This one is going to save all the new data we're going to do. Um, so what we can do now is to just pose the sky. So the lattice deformer works better if, uh, more, work more accurately if you have more vertex to play with. Uh, so let's, we can just quickly animate that. So the initial position will hit inside keyframe. So it's going to just be a rough animation. Something like this. Okay. So let's make it rest a bit. Let's see what we have. So it's quite boring. Let's make it interesting by bringing out this keyframe interpolation and select bounce. And let's see what we have. pretty cool <laughs> cool um so let's proceed um finally uh, okay there's another way of animating the lattice so that way is so let's delete this animation it's cool awesome animation <laughs> um it's by select actually editing the point so let's say you want to edit the points in edit mode like you want to bring it out so one way to do that is just go into the edit mode of the lattice select the edges you want and press ctrl h for adding hook um, then you select hook to new object okay so once you do that it's going to add an empty for you 
and now you have this empty in the object mode so you can now move it or if you want to use an armature you can actually add a bone okay so let's say we have two bones or even three so it looks more complicated and you want this particular bone to control certain points in the lettuce so all you need to do is select the bone in edit mode or pose mode um, then go to object mode shift select the lattice and inside let's select the edges we want okay and press ctrl h so now we'll use hook to selected object bone okay so once you do that and you have it working so now you can animate this too So let's make it cool, press T and bring out elastic so it look cool. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. So let me quickly show you guys the project I'm working with that without the lattice, I'll be I'll, like it will have really pushed me back. Um, so let me show you guys the project. Um, Okay. All the settings. Okay, I'll just bring it bring it back on. So as you can see I have one giant lattice and inside the lattice you can see I have a bone, an amateur rig. So uh, the lattice is deforming the object on top of the rigging. So I if I turn off this lattice, let's see what we have. So if I turn off the lattice, you can see we have a different character. Just hide this hair. So if I turn off the, where is the lattice again? <laughs> if I turn it off, you see we have a different character and with it enabled, we have a cuter character. So I wanted to like make it cuter. So the lattice came in handy. I just played with the shapes of the whole entire model. So I got what I wanted. So that's one way of using the lattice. Yeah, so that will be it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much. And thank you again for the new subscribers. Ah, you guys are so awesome. And don't forget to check out my course in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So bye-bye for now. See you next time.